Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is, do you still seek him by night? And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of John chapter 19 and verse 39. Nicodemus, who had first come to him at night, also came bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes weighing about a hundred Roman pounds. Today, I want us to draw a lesson from a man in the Bible called Nicodemus. He isn't spoken about too often, but the three times he is referred to in the Bible are significant on many levels. The first time we hear of Nicodemus, the Bible tells us that he comes to Jesus by night to have a discussion about salvation and such other things. He came by night because he was mindful of his reputation. He was purportedly a wealthy man with a lot of influence and following Jesus at the time was not very trendy. He was mindful of sustaining that reputation, yet he wanted to draw from Jesus so he waited till no one could see him and went to Jesus by night. That was the first encounter Nicodemus had with Jesus. Now, Jesus had been seized and killed by the people. These same people that Nicodemus had been hiding his association with Jesus from. Yet the Bible tells us in broad daylight, Nicodemus came bringing expensive ingredients to embalm the body of Jesus. What had changed? How did this man transition from one hiding to speak to Jesus to one damning all consequences to anoint his body in the full glare of the angry people who had killed him? Today's episode isn't really focused at answering these questions. Today's episode is to ask you, Are you still coming to Jesus by night? Are you still ashamed to proclaim Jesus to your family and loved ones and co-workers? Are you ashamed to share messages like this publicly? Are you still hiding? I know that we are in a very heathenistic age, an age that is becoming more and more vocally critical and uncomfortable with the Bible. But will you dare take a stand? Will you like Nicodemus transition from hiding to speak to Jesus, to unashamedly serving him and doing his bidding. There is a scripture I love so much. Acts chapter 4, verses 29 to 30. In that scripture, the Bible tells us that the world had succeeded in threatening the early church and they were almost retreating to seek Jesus at night only. But guess what they did? They prayed. They prayed for boldness. Grant to your servants that with all boldness we may speak your word, they prayed. And the Bible says something spectacular. God answered them. If you find that you still hide to talk about Jesus, maybe you need to pray for boldness. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, this morning I pray for as many of us who are feeling a bit overwhelmed and unsure of how to preach Jesus to our world and in our corner. Please, Lord, grant us boldness. Help us to be unashamed about our faith. Help us that no matter how dark the world gets, we will not be cowered by the darkness, but that we will boldly and with love and with enthusiasm proclaim you as Lord. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.